Hi Cora. As you can probably tell, we are currently staying on this adorable little hobby farm which has allowed us to get up close and personal with some sheep, some kittens and some chickens and it's been just a lovely time so far. And we want to go interact with even more animals. We're really hoping to see some fur seals. So we are going to head out to the Kaikoura Peninsula Walkway, which is an 11.7 kilometer walk between Kaikoura Recreation Reserve and South Bay. Let's go.
far to find seals. It really took us maybe a few hundred meters before we saw our first bunch of them all nesting and there are literally hundreds of them around here. It's just absolutely amazing to be able to get to see so many of them in their natural habitat from a safe distance. And for free. The more difficult thing about this is that it's not a defined pathway. You're just kind of walking along the coastline, which is very rocky, albeit flat terrain. It's not like you're having to climb hills. The issue is that you're really limited as to where you can walk based on where the seals are hanging out. Because we have been informed that they can get aggressive and bite. So you should stay 10 to 20 meters back. and. We were planning on walking all the way from Kaikoura Recreation Reserve to South Bay. However, we've basically run into a hurdle, which is that there are too many seals blocking our path to safely pass by. We are the only people out this far, so I think we've kind of pushed our luck here. Yeah, it's definitely time to turn back and try and head towards South Bay a different way because we've heard that there is also a penguin colony around that area. Thankfully, there was a, it was up a hill, but we made it and now we're back on the path more traveled, which is a lot safer. Obviously today we weren't able to complete the full walk because of where the seals were positioned. There may be days where they're not blocking the path, so you could possibly do the whole 11 and a half kilometers, but today wasn't that day. It wasn't gonna be safe. As a means of mixing things up, we have found a track and some stairs that are gonna lead up onto the cliff, and we might be able to complete the rest of our walk from a higher vantage point. So let's see how this goes. This is an absolutely stunning view. And given that this seems to have an actual laid out track, I get the feeling we were meant to do this the entire time. I think that's the parking lot we're headed to, South Bay parking lot. the rest of this red trail down here to Limestone Bay. Apparently there is meant to be a penguin colony but that's not actually around here. It's meant to be a little bit further along here-ish. So rather than going all the way there to come all the way back, we're opting to retrace our steps to the car to then take us there. It is worth noting though that if you do take the right path the first time around, then actually It did take us about two and a half, but obviously that's because we were very distracted by the previous years. We've made it back to the car via the cliff top pathway and I just cannot get over the number of seals that we saw today. It was just 
so incredible to get close enough but still maintain a safe distance to see them playing, to see them just sleeping, or also even pups nursing with their moms. It was just a really once in a lifetime opportunity. And the fact that it was free is mind boggling. But there is some information that I wish I had known before we went on this walk. The walk goes between two car parks. One is here at Kaikoura Recreation Reserve. And there are stairs up from this parking lot that lead you to the Clifftop Trail. And that trail will take you all the way to the South Bay car park. And you're getting amazing panoramic views, but from quite a distance. However, a lot of people start the walk by just walking along the rocks on the coastline because you're still able to maintain a safe enough distance from the seals, but you're able to see them from a lot closer. And you can walk along a fairly delineated rocky pathway, I'd say for about two thirds of the five or six kilometer trail. But then you'll know when you get to the point where the rocky path is running out and you're getting too close to the seals. And fortunately, there is a staircase at about the halfway mark that you can just go up and then continue on the clifftop pathway to South Bay before you obviously turn around. So just a few things to keep in mind. I think as far as I go, then definitely I share exactly the same sentiments about just how wonderful an experience it is to be seeing such beautiful creatures as intended and just to see the sheer volume of them as well. There are hundreds, not even kidding, and they are living their best life and it's just such a joy to have been among them a real privilege to get to see them as somebody who was just incredibly curious about the world around him as a kid i definitely read up a lot on sort of marine biology and all of these amazing sea creatures and seals were always top of the bucket list as far as like things i wanted to see so getting to see so many of them and they are so beautiful and to just get to kind of enjoy being in their company was a genuine treat so thank you this is way better than a zoo <laughs> oh my god yeah it doesn't even compare in terms of what we're going to be doing now hopefully we might just get to see a penguin colony because apparently that is quite near the south bay car park we've also been told by our airbnb host that there's a really good ice cream shop as well so i think we're going to combine both of those things and see where we end up So we went to the place that was recommended, but it turns out they didn't accept card that was from outside of New Zealand. So we went to another gelato place that we have seen along the way and we stopped in for that. I have salted caramel ice cream. And I have chocolate sorbet. Let's see how it goes. We went searching for penguins according to one article, but unfortunately there was no sign of penguins. The gelato was amazing though, so that was a plus. We're going to head back to our Airbnb. After probably one of the most awesome days in recent memory, we're now back at our Airbnb. And that's going to be probably about it from us in Kaikoura. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.